New common in Kern County, the third body in a week has been pulled now from a local canal. It was discovered last night by a fisherman. Yeah, Iowa News reached out to officials to find out exactly what's behind this trend. Reporter Raina Harvey joins us now live from Mill Creek Park with the latest. Raina. That's right, Hannah and Dave, live in Mill Creek Park, where I spoke with people earlier. They recovered a body here just this week. A lot of people frequent this area and like to go fishing. Well, we spoke to officials who say they warn people about the dangers of the Kern River, but they want people to know that the canals are just as fast and just as deadly. It is not what you would expect to find on a fishing trip. I threw my line over, over where I found the body at. A fisherman discovers a woman's body floating in a canal in northeast Bakersfield Thursday evening. And I was like, it stinks right here. It smelled pretty bad, so I just like looked right there and it was right there just floating. It's the third body to be pulled from a canal in a week. Tuesday, a man's body was recovered from a canal at Mill Creek Park. And here at Mills Creek Park, they have a sign on the canal that says, do not enter water swift currents. Park owners tell me a lot of people see that sign, but don't follow it. And Monday, a body was found in a canal in Arvin off East Bear Mountain Boulevard. In fact, uh, most of these uh, bodies of water, I mean, the, the main design of them is to move water very efficiently and very quickly. So any type of a water moving um, canal or river, uh, they're definitely going to be flowing a lot of water these days and the canals are definitely uh, no exception. Last month, the Kern County Sheriff's Office located yet another body in a canal near Driver Road and Dresser Avenue, northeast of Shafter. Officials tell me the bodies could be coming from people drowning in the Kern River or in the canals themselves. A lot of the waterways that flow in and around Bakersfield are actually interconnected, so it, it, there's a likelihood that uh, that body of water would actually feed from the Kern River, so there, there is a likelihood that that could be uh, one of the victims from the Kern River. Sergeant Croker with the Bakersfield Police department tells me people should take the same caution near canals as they do the Kern River. As far as the red flags go, I mean, anytime you start seeing an influx of, of human bodies come washed up in a canal, obviously that's something to bring concern. It's been very hot. Uh, temperatures have been consistently over 100 degrees. Uh, oftentimes people, they want to get in the water because it can cool them off, those types of things. Uh, it can be dangerous even in canal ways where you look at it, it doesn't look like the water is moving fast. And if someone isn't an adequate swimmer or doesn't have the proper flotation device, it could very easily sink and drown. There are still autopsies and investigations being done on the latest cases of bodies recovered this week. With these new discoveries, officials hope people will stay out the canals altogether never appropriate to get into a canal. Uh, these bodies of water are moving so quickly this year that uh, we definitely recommend everybody staying out of any kind of a moving body of water this year. Now officials tell me they hope people see this message and take it seriously and that those signs they see post up on the canal are more than just for show. Reporting in Central Bakersfield, Raina Harvey, Eyewitness News. All right, Raina, thank you so much.